N-A, B-B-N-A. Yeah, B-N-A. Big Nasty As I was saying, we're talking about the newest show from Studio Trigger, B-N-A, Brand New Animal. So this show has been out for a while, I think a few months on Japanese Netflix. It just recently arrived here on American Netflix, and I watched it, and I have some thoughts about it. Leading up to the show's release, I was hyped. I like the colors. I like the trailer. I like anthro characters, as you all know. Seems like this was right up my alley. And it was, to a degree. But then I watched the show, and about the halfway point, I realized something was off. And that was mainly the story. And as we all know, Studio Trigger, they can knock it out of the park. When it comes to visuals, they always knock it out of the park. And BNA was no exception in that regard. But for the story, you got things like Kill a Kill, which I loved. And then you got things like Little Witch Academia, where it's like, yeah, we got some issues here. BNA falls more into the Little Witch Academia section where there are issues. So, without revealing spoilers, uh, the synopsis being this is a world where there are beastmen and they've always lived alongside humanity. But humanity evolved in the sense of like becoming more the dominant species on Earth. Beastmen were rejected. Beastmen are people who can like take on animal forms and also transform back to a human form. So it's like, oh, um, humans can't transform at all. But then the beastmen can be like, right, here's my human side. And then here I'm transforming into a bear now, like an anthropomorphic bear man. So we fast forward to like, it's nowadays, well, nowadays, a modern setting where the Beastmen have their own city called like New Anima or something like that. Uh, you've got our main character. I'm going to say her name wrong because I suck. Mirichu, uh, Mirichu, I'm so sorry. I really am trying. Mirichu, who is a raccoon girl. There's another word for it, but I, it escapes me. But thing is, she's a human who became a beast man. And also her beast man abilities allow her to like transform her body where she can like grow super strong, grow long arms, grow fast legs like a cheetah, grow bird wings. She's like an experiment, social freak of nature, <laughs> social freak, a freak of nature where it's like, you're not quite human. You're not quite beast man. What are you? And that's part of the story is revealing like what happened to her? Why was she transformed? What's going on with her uh, having to run away from human society to new anima and try to find some answers? And we also learn about how this is a world where the humans don't really coexist well with the beastmen. That new anima is more of an experiment to see if these beastmen can live in a city without having any issues uh, alongside, not alongside humans, but like outside of human culture and cities. There's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to the setting. There's a lot to the characters and stories. But again, our main character is Marichu and we follow her trying to find answers of how to transform back to human because she wants to be human. We meet other main characters like Silver Wolf, how he's like the guardian of the city. Uh, we discover about like the animal culture where you've got like might makes right in this city. They even say that at the start, like the bigger and stronger you are, that puts you more in charge. Again, I don't want to get into spoilers. Uh, that's the main synopsis. We meet other characters along the way as the plot grows and we discover like that there's some heinous things going on. There's a bit of a mystery, a slow burn mystery that we're introduced to in the first episode and we grow with it and dive more into like the the when, the how, the who, the what behind it all. I like that. I like the mystery they set up of trying to get answers. And you also scratch your chin thinking, well, who, who done it? Who are the bad guys here? There has to be somebody who's pulling the strings and causing these issues in, in New Anima City. And in that regard, the first half of the season, because this is only one season, 12 episodes, I enjoyed it. My favorite episode was basically a slice of life episode where uh, Mirichu goes, I'm certain I'm saying her name wrong, I'm sorry, but she joins a baseball team 
and helps them go to the World Series or whatever, become not the World Series, but the championship league in the city of New Anima. That was interesting. I enjoyed that. I wish it would have been like two episodes because I think that story moved very quickly. That's a big issue, issue, gripe I have with the entire series. It moves so quickly and the themes and the arcs they set up where it's things like humans and their discrimination against beastmen or discrimination for beastmen within their own city. Just the way they set things up and you expect them to knock it down didn't really go the way I expected. I was like, for example, again, Merichu is a freak of nature. She's a hybrid. And I thought the story would be more about her and her relationship with her friend who also has the same issue with these being experimented on and becoming human to beast man, weird super creature. But it's like, no, we're not really talking about that. Like it's part of the story, but the main story isn't their relationship as much as like these monsters living in Beastmen freaking out. It's kind of borderline Zootopia with going savage, but it wasn't what I expected and they went in a different direction that wasn't as satisfying. So yeah, okay, I guess drilling down to my core points here to wrap things up, I wish there was more substance. I wish there was more time to spend with these characters. I wish they would have spent more time like in the city exploring the culture, letting our main characters grow their relationships, letting there be a bit more divide and then a more satisfying resolve. Because there are so many points in this show where they're setting you up and then they resolve it very quickly and in ways that I wasn't really hoping for. And I'm trying to avoid spoilers once more, but that's just my biggest gripe. I wish this would have been 24 episodes or maybe a second season. Because when the show was all wrapped up with its finale, I was like, is that it? Are we done? Is there going to be a season two? It felt so quick. And... I don't know. It just kind of left me wanting more or at least not feel it's like it's like I got to eat like a meal, but I'm still hungry at the end. It wasn't satisfying. And I had big eyes like oh my oh, I can't wait to eat this delicious meal. And then I eat it. And I'm like, that wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Once more visuals, the color palette, the, the action, the choreography, I, I, Studio Trigger knocks it out of the park. It feels like a comic book, the way they frame some of these shots. It's so cool. Like visually, BNA is fantastic, but with its story, with its characters, it was lacking a bit. And that's a shame. I wouldn't say it's bad, because there are definitely parts I enjoyed, and I see the direction they were going in, but I just wish there was a little bit more to really satisfy me, and uh, both with how they set things up and then how they decided to knock it down, and how they would, I guess, elevate the story and the tension in a way that I wasn't really expecting. So those are my thoughts about BNA. Uh, I'm sure I could have said it much better about I'm trying to avoid spoilers. I recommend watching it. I would say that Beastars was much better to me. I was more involved with those characters and their plights and their growth versus here where it felt like it kind of lost focus. But once more, it's worth watching for the visuals alone. So check it out and let me know what you all think in the comments. See ya.